All right, in this Google Form video, I'm going to show you how you can create a new question that you will be able to have students upload a file to. So in order to do this, I've got my practice quiz right here, and I'm going to go over to Add Question. And so that will create a new question at the bottom of my page. Then I'm going to choose the drop-down menu where it says File Upload. Now, the first time you do this, you may see a little um, disclaimer pop up there. Um, it didn't pop up this time since I've already been in this form, but here's where you'll put your question. So you may just say something as simple as please upload your file. So maybe you've had them do a video or a written explanation um, of something that they have done or a paper, um, an essay response, whatever it might be. Uh, maybe they're explaining in a video how they answered the question before. So you put your question there, which you want them to upload. And then you have some options down the side here. You can allow only specific file types by toggling this on and then choosing the file types that you want. Um, you can choose the number of files you want people to upload, the maximum number. So that right now it's set at one, but you could go even to five or ten. And then the maximum file size. So each file that they submit right now is set to only be 10 megabytes. You may want to increase that a little bit more, especially if they're doing a video. You may want to give them 100 megabytes or even a gig. Um, the only issue is if you do change this to a gig here, it says the form can accept up to one gigabyte of file. So that would mean only one file uh, potentially could be accepted if, if a student used the entire gig. So you're going to want to change that to again, if you want to put it on the maximum amount, you could go to one terabyte. But whatever you set this at, I'll set it at 100 gigs here. This is just in the settings menu, but as soon as I clicked right here to change that, it brought up the settings menu, which is up there. So you have lots of options there. This can be a great way for you to just collect files from your students. You have them upload their files that they complete, and then you have them in one nice, neat spot uh, when you get their responses and we'll show you in a later video how you'll be able to even see those on a spreadsheet. So hopefully this helps you understand how you can create a new question and a file upload for your students to submit their videos or other work that they have in a different file.